Um, so over the past few weeks, we've actually been talking a lot about search engines, whether it be social search or traditional um, um, search engines as well. One thing that we haven't really talked a lot about is how can we better get our websites equipped to, to show up in these search results. Um, and I think something we should focus on is, is one of the easier things. Search engines really like fast websites. Um, and there are different things you can do to make your website quick, which will in turn help you when it comes to search uh, being found in search. Um, page speed is, speed is a major factor. And luckily, there's some pretty simple steps you can ensure to, to or use to make sure your, your website is fast. Guys, we work with websites daily. Um, what would you say are some really easy wins, some really simple things that people can do to ensure that their website remains fast, their page speed um, is quick, and that search engines will appreciate that and obviously help them show up higher in search. Um, Ian, I know one that you harp on quite a bit. Um, and, and actually, truth be told, too, right before we started, I got a little message from Trevor, who couldn't come on this week. This is Trevor's uh, kind of area of expertise, too. He mentioned a couple of things, and he mentioned one that I know you kind of focus on. Um, why don't you lead off? Sure, yeah. I think um, it's important to remember that the size of your website and the size of all the assets on your website can add up, and that um, making sure your website is as efficient as possible is, is important. So an easy win, um, as you asked about, would be when you're uploading images, ensure that they're basically the size that you need to be good quality, um, but not too large. So you don't want to be uploading you know, 10 megapixel images for a small image at the top of a blog or something like that. So I would strongly recommend using a, an online tool, a free online tool like Squoosh, and you can uh, resize your image either on your desktop or in that in terms of its pixel dimensions, but you can also uh, Squoosh as a tool to uh, optimize the image by um, shrinking it, shrinking down the size without losing any quality. You will lose a tiny amount of quality, but honestly, on a screen, it's indiscernible. And um, going through all your images and making sure that they are no bigger than they need to be to show well on the site is just a, a very easy win because the difference between a, you know, a 200 uh, kilobyte file and a four megabyte file for the same image that looks almost looks identical on the screen, um, it would just help no end. So. Uh, and in, similarly, I think um, videos as well. Don't host videos on your site, they're huge. Host them on somewhere like YouTube or Vimeo and embed them. And uh, yeah, just bearing in mind that the more bloated your site becomes, the slower it's gonna get. So try and keep all your assets nice and um, lean and yeah. That image one is something we see daily too, right? Where if somebody has a, a really large image, a really heavy image, and they're putting them on their website, next thing you know, there's a page that has five or six of them. Mm -hmm. It's it's And it's such an easy win too. And you're right. You know, you can squish an image down and make it, um, you know, far more optimal for the website. But at the same time, you're not losing quality. It still looks great on your website, etc. cetera. So um, that's one that's such an easy win. And you know what, when we talk to clients or a client comes to us and says, hey, I'm having issues with my my page speed load, et cetera. Images are just the number one thing we think about. And, and oftentimes that's what it is. Um, I know on my end, I think the one for me, and, and Trevor mentioned this one too, when it comes to website hosting, you kind of get what you pay for. Um, you know, in the past, uh, we've worked with clients and even some of our websites when we were first starting out using some pretty low cost hosting options. And not only does that pose a problem when it comes to security, because they're jamming as many websites as they can on these single servers, one of them gets infected and then the whole thing goes. Um, from a from a uh, website speed perspective as well, it's pretty noticeable. So while you don't need to go and get the most premium website hosting package of all time for your small business or medium sized business website, um, I would definitely avoid the really low end ones as well, because you're you're going to see a difference both from from speed and security. Um, any, anything, Duncan, you can think of to speed up a website, make it a little bit easier for, for Google to find it? Um, I mean, Google had a major update in the last couple months that have hurt a lot of, uh, I would say, more content mill type websites. Uh, you know, they're kind of 
And that algorithm changes a lot. So, I mean, obviously, the way that Google ranks websites is constantly changing as well, which makes for challenges for website owners. But with that said, speed has always been something that they are looking for. So, I mean, some of the things that at least I've noticed um, over the years is that, you know, we use WordPress quite often with the sites we build. Um, there are quite a few different um, content management systems out there. Whereas, you know, when you're, the way that those plugins, so the way that those tools work is you basically plug in little elements to your base website to, to kind of build the functionality that you need. But a lot of times you have a lot of plugins that aren't either necessary or they have a lot of bloat. Um, and this often slows things down on a lot of different websites in a lot of different ways. Sometimes you have conflicts with different plugins um, and they're trying to run scripts that are competing and things just stop working. So some things that uh, most most website owners, even WordPress owners, don't realize is that you kind of honestly have to turn plugins on and off just to see how it impacts your site speed. Because a lot of the times it's the plugins that you're using, especially those template builders. Like if you want to use a drag and drop template builder over very simple coding site, you are going to have a lot of bloat and a lot of slowdown because those things are huge um, because they're designed to make it easier for the user but not necessarily easier for search engines or page speed load. So just something to keep in mind that you know if you want a tool that is drag and drop you actually may be better off using some of those custom tools that are built like that like Squarespace or um, you know even some of these landing page editors for your website because that's what they're made for. Um, they're made for those kind of tools and they've perfected the ability to have those tools with the speed. Whereas something like WordPress, which is a little bit more robust, gives you a lot more options, but it also comes with those caveats that you are customizing your own site and they kind of assume that you know what you're doing when you're adding the plugins. Because if you just go and do that yourself, that could very much impact your speed over the long term. Yeah, no, I agree. And there's oftentimes when we look in the back end of websites, you know, somebody might have used a plug-in a long time ago. Now, all of a sudden, they're not using it anymore. And instead of turning it off and getting rid of it, it's still there. And sure enough, it's just adding to the bloat of the website. So, yeah, you know what? I think between hosting images and removing old plugins and things you don't use anymore, I think that'll help the vast majority of websites. Yeah. 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 I think that that's a good start. Now, I mean, there's there's a million different things here without getting really, really technical. I mean, we could have somebody like Trevor on one day to get really, really technical with things, but that's just a great place to start. When you start getting really big websites, then there's other things to consider too about how um, the content's being delivered. Um, but there's a, there's a good start. And you know, by doing that, probably images alone is gonna help your site tremendously. <laughs>